I hear so many very smart analysts and economists say, oh my God, anybody who thinks the next move by the Fed's going to be higher has to be crazy. First of all, we should all pray if we're long stocks for the Fed to have to raise rates. But my question to you is, we basically are coming out of a time where our heads all filled with managed or administered rates. How long does that process take to clear out when we can trust more of the market rates we see, especially outside the short end, most under the thumb of the Federal Reserve? Well, the conventional thinking, of course, is that what you see in the marketplace is, place is what you get. Uh, but we, we know with rates under the Fed's position, uh, that administered rate is not really a market set rate. We saw this disconnect in December and January, uh, December last year, January this year. And so what happens, the challenge for investors is to recognize whatever the marketplace rate is today is not the underlying fundamental. And this is where successful investors in equities, fixed income, and currencies really get their reward. They recognize that disconnect and they see that the administered rates are not the true rates and they have to look forward to where the rates are going. The Fed says they're going to allow interest rates uh, to drift upwards, inflation to drift upwards. Um, that may set a new, that's going to send a new set of signals to the marketplace. Well, John, I guess the, the only logical question next is when you look up and see a 242 year, a 258 10 year, what are you thinking about how these rates are filtering through the current economy? How much damage was done when they were too artificially low? And what lies ahead knowing the rest of the world most likely these rates are going to always be more squeamish going up than ours? Yeah, I think there are two questions that most investors have to ask. Are risk instruments being properly priced knowing that long-term interest rates both in the U.S. and Europe and as well as Japan, are being artificially held down because of the asset buying programs of these central banks. And then the second question, of course, uh, comes up is that how, when do we recognize the tensions in the marketplace are going to essentially raise themselves up and show us that the true value suggests that interest rates ought to be higher across the board? I guess the, uh, the second final question I have to ask, considering everything you've seen over the last quarter, do you think it's a 50-50 bet on the Fed's next move, whether it's up or down, or are you as convinced as many it has to be lower? Your final thought, John. No, I, I, I tell you, Rick, I, I think the next move is probably going to be up because they're allowing the economy to run. We see the inflation numbers drifting up over the last three to six months probably not going to do, the Fed's not going to do anything in the next six months or so. But over the next year or so, we'll see these inflation numbers come up. And here's the Trump card. When will the Fed react? And that's going to set a brand new signal to the, to the marketplace. The Fed is reacting to drifting up, drift, the drifting up in inflation. I like being reactionary. I don't like when they put the finger in and try to pull the hook.